Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Brad and the Critters. Brad's in the kitchen. He's got his headphones on so I can just say anything I want to about him and him not even hear it. Actually, he can't hear me. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, we are now back home. We've been back home since <clears throat> Sunday evening. I couldn't remember when. Sunday evening we got back home. So it was good and it was bad. I was sad to leave the daughter and the grandkids. I love them so much. Um, but we will be back um, most definitely. And um, I had a great time up there. Went to North Carolina to visit family. We thought we were going to be helping our daughter with um, getting her uh, her schoolie because uh, uh, her significant other, her boyfriend, was going to take it back to um, uh, Wyoming to get their stuff out of storage and, and bring the stuff back, right? Well, it broke down and then... Sadly, his mother, he got a call that his mother had been found unresponsive and um, rushed to the hospital, which she later did pass away. Um, so he had to leave. He was stranded and waiting for um, Monday for a tow truck and, and uh, mechanic and stuff. And uh, he had to leave before that. So anyway... She finally was able to work it out with where the uh, school lady, it's a 40 foot bus uh, that can be converted over, was able to be um, uh, taken to um, the mechanic, and there it sits. And we thought we were going to be able to go, Brad was going to be able to go and help her um, get the bus, but it hadn't been fixed yet. So. Anyway, and also we went to go see if we liked the area and also to see, I know I'm pretty bright here and I'm sorry, um, to see if we um, were going to like the area and if we uh, could find some housing because we've been looking and looking and hadn't really been able to find much of the way of housing. Um, but we had a couple of leads. So, long story short, Brad met with a wonderful gentleman who um, has these brand new mobile homes. And he has <clears throat> a very, very nice trailer park. Um, and showed Brad a couple of mobile homes. One, they liked. Him and my daughter went because... I was so sick last week, I could not not even go because of the breathing. I couldn't have walked far enough to, to and, and wasn't breathing well enough to do it. And um, even though I've taken breathing treatment and everything. So, we'll talk about that. So, my daughter went with him, and they, but they did videotape it. And then showed him the second one, and... Um, we're going to show him another one. I said, oh, that one had just been sold. And so went and said, but I have one identical to that one. It's the last one that he had um, that uh, brand new. Nobody's ever lived in it. Um, it's a three bedroom, two bath, two full bath. And um, single wide, but beautiful home. And um, very nice open plan, which was what we wanted because... Um, as you guys know, Brad has really been um, suffering from what we do not know yet of some kind of disability that is pretty rapid anymore, um, making him more and more disabled. So we need an open plan where he can use the walker or the rollator or a wheelchair. Um, and that was important to us. In fact, he took his walker with him. To make sure that, that he would fit through all the doorways and everything. Well, that was really important to us. We were not going to buy a home if we could not live in it long term. 
like this would be our forever home until we would have to live in assisted living or something. Also important to us is you guys know that we can keep our pets. Um, you know, Charlie wants to be able to woo-woo every so often. He's not going to woo-woo for us right now because his dad's getting ready to feed him so he's out in the kitchen. Right, Charlie? You're not going to woo-woo for me, are you? He was woo-wooing earlier. Really happy. Um, so, yeah, we want to make sure we can have our pets and stuff. Um, super nice guy. And so they were talking and everything, and they showed me the video, and I really loved the, loved the trailer. You've got the master um, bedroom, of course, and... Um, what I really like is the closet is in the master bathroom. And it's not got a garden tub or anything, but it, seriously, even though I really wanted one of those, it's okay because with my kidney problems, I really shouldn't be taking a lot of baths. So, you know, it is what it is. If it really killed us, we could always get a hot tub if we really wanted to. But, um, I doubt we'll do that. Um... Yeah, but we can modify our home how we want it with all the handicap um, bars and handles and everything that we want. Um, we really wanted a spray nozzle, and the kitchen sink, the kitchen faucet didn't come with one. But my daughter had bought one for the schoolie, and it never got put in. And it's one of those ones that comes off of you know, it's got a real tall. I think it's almost like a pasta thing they call it and that sprayer part comes off and spray so she sold that to us and she paid 55 for it sold it to us for 50 I already paid powder the money Brad talking with Luke who is the the guy who owns the, all of the land and stuff and who also is CEO of this financial company and he said, well, you just, he has a handyman that's always around the park. And he said, you just have your um, daughter drop that off with Donald and we'll put it in for you. So that's what they're going to do. That's awesome. You can give us some links to um, people and organizations that will help out with building some uh, uh, wheelchair ramps on the, on the home for us. Um... We we'll need to hire somebody to do lawn care and stuff. And well, I'm sure we can hire somebody pretty inexpensive. And um, there's no fence backyard or anything. But you know, honestly, our dogs don't spend much time outside, y'all, because they always want to be with us. So the only time they'll spend time outside is when we're out there. So you know, we can always put them on. They have great big, huge long leads and. We can put them on there and they can hang out with us while we're barbecuing and stuff. So, um, they said, Brad asked about flower beds and that, and they go all day long. Because what it is, is you pay, you know, it's, it's a regular loan on your home. And what we were able to go with a 20-year loan instead of a 30. Yay. Because, you know, we want to be able to pay this off. And then it's like two fifteen a month for lot. Which is really, really great price on a lot rent. So, um, got that all done. We started the paperwork. We started paperwork, you guys, on Friday. Saturday, Luke is pushing, pushing, pushing Friday evening. Because he was, he was hoping to be able to get all this together by Saturday before we left. That didn't happen because there were a few things that we had to get done that we had to wait till we got home. We got full approval yesterday. But I didn't want to make the announcement until I heard it from Luke himself when he called and he was talking with Brad. And he goes, well, congratulations, you guys. And I'm like, yes. Because, you know, even when we bought standard homes before, this would be the third home we bought. You've been afraid that all of a sudden they'll go, April Fool's, or they'll go, oh, well, this little thing is now going to make it where you can't. And so, um... But yeah, so this is going to happen. Um, we were kind of targeting October 5th to move. We already talked to the manager of this trailer park. 
and said, we're going to probably be here about a week longer. And so I had already prorated. It was going to be like $143. And she said, oh, yeah, that's great. You know, but we're going to have to probably be October 6th now. Where I've got an appointment with a disability. Um, he's one kind of, well, he's a disability doctor. And so need to do that. So October 6th, we'll get the movers in here, we'll get the truck loaded, we'll drive on down. Well, we do it on two stages. It's just too much for Brad to have to drive 10 hours. Um, so we'll do it five hours, one day, and then five the next. And that seems to work out pretty well. So, um, you know, and that's about as long as the dogs really want to be. Have, we'll have to let them out one time while we're on the road. Um, so, uh, but then they're, they're pretty well wanting to be out of the, um, vehicle anyway. Uh, they did really well on the trip for the most part. They they did really well in the motels, no accidents or anything. Um, I was very proud of them. They were very happy to be with us, of course. Um, so that was all good. Uh, like I said, had a fantastic time with my daughter and grandkids. Loved every moment. They had me laughing so hard at, at times. I thought I was just going to pee myself because it would just, I mean, I had tears running down my face. They just, you know, <laughs> they just are so funny. Um, you know, my granddaughter made sushi for us all one night. Um, and stuff, so that was awesome. Um, my daughter... They went to the store for us three different times. She determined she's doing everything she can for us. And in fact, it was something that Brad was wanting to do. And my daughter was wanting to do it for him. And finally she said, just let me do it. It'll make me feel better about the whole thing. So um, she helped us with all the paperwork. We don't know all this lingo. And see, she's been in the business world and done office work for so long. So she's like, well, yeah, you want to do DocuSign? And she's talking with Luke and stuff. And, I mean, man. So, yeah, she really helped. So, as a, a thank you gift, she loves coffee. Like her mom. But no wonder she likes coffee, right? So, um, we had introduced her to cold brew because somebody here gifted us with some cold brew, which I just absolutely love. Like, I'm going to have to you know, save up my pennies, maybe after the move and buy some more. And we just have, uh, like, a plastic container that we brew ours in the fridge. But it, she didn't have anything, and I wanted to get her something. So as a thank you, we got her one of those glass crafts, and it's got, like, the filter in it. See, we have filter all ours. But so we got her one of those, and I got her a pound of cold brew um, as a thank you. And uh, that came yesterday. And we had also gotten my granddaughter. She didn't have... My late mother-in-law used to have, being, you know, from Hawaiian stuff, used to have some bamboo sushi roll mats. And we don't know whatever happened to them. So we got, I, we got my granddaughter. And it was only like $8. It was like, it was two of the mats and then like a rice paddle and then a spreading paddle so uh we got her that but yeah she made really good you know it was all it was smoked salmon and um the imitation crab and, and then like the cucumbers and avocados and and sticky rice stuff she did a really good job so um uh yeah it was neat really taught my granddaughter how to do some sewing and I tell you what she's a natural because I showed her the basics and see I let her use my new brother machine and it's really super easy to thread it's so lightweight too and she had a, a couple of questions on the first shirt she had some shirts that were way too low, long and she wanted to shorten them so she could tuck them in her pants she's 16 and she liked the high-waisted pants, and but she needed to tuck these these shirts in, so she cut them off, and then I showed her how to pin them, and then I was teaching her how to hem on the sewing machine, and she had a few questions about the first one. She was doing four of them. She zipped through the next three, no problem. I mean, she was a natural, seriously. So um, 
I'm looking forward to doing a lot more sewing with that child here in the future. Um, my grandson, we had a lot of fun with him. And he cuddled and cuddled and cuddled on up with me the first night I was there. And I felt so good because, you know, we, I waited until the grandkids were out of school and stuff. You know, but the first day we were there, they both wanted to over and they wanted to hang out with me while their mom and and uh, Papa, they call uh, Brad Papa, and they call me Nana. Papa and their mom was looking at these trailers, and that made me feel really good. You don't usually see a 14-year-old and a 6-year-old want to hang with, you know. So, um, it was really good. It was good. I, we had not been out of town since we moved to Florida here. And I have to say, we have enjoyed our time here in Florida, but I think North Carolina is going to be a much better fit for us. First of all, it's cooler there. You do get this more of a seasonal change. You get just a little bit of snow, but it melts real fast. Um, not as buggy. It just is where we're going to be living at is, is basically in the country. But there's a small town just real close. And I don't know. We just seem to fit in better with the people stuff. So, I mean, we, while we've enjoyed it and we met some really nice people, most of who sadly have passed away, um, this never really felt totally like home, even though we tried to make it be more like home. Um, but, you know, it's been such a growing experience, too, and I don't think if we hadn't had the hard hardships that we'd had, that we would be so appreciative. I never thought we would have a home again, own a home again. I just didn't think it was feasibly possible. We will be paying just a little more than we're paying here, and, um, yeah, you know, and it will be ours, and at least we'll have that to leave for, you know, our kids, and, uh, um, you know, we're excited, Brad's very excited, he's been kind of bouncing all day, I think this is really what he needed, we'd both kind of gone through a depression and Sorry. stuff, it's not easy seeing your spouse deteriorate physically, um, he fell, one time, well, you know, when I had to help him up, he fell and spilled my coffee all over <laughs> outside of the hotel. And then I fell on the way home, and I don't think it looks very bad. Well, you can't really tell now, but trust me, this was very, very swollen yesterday. It's starting to, it hurts more now, but it's starting not to be as, you can see a little bit of discoloration. Fell on the top step here, and I had splintered all over, and just bam, knees and hands, butt up in the air, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just didn't pick my feet up well enough, so, uh, we're gonna make the cheese it need, and then as soon as we get there, we're going to get the insurance, you know, we have insurance here, we self-pay health insurance, we'll do it there, and we're gonna find doctors, get Brad some help. He'll have to get probably a um you probably won't get a disability attorney right away because this is all really rolling, so we're gonna see what happens with that. Um but yeah. And then there is a chance that further down the road that my daughter might decide she's thinking about maybe getting buying a um, a mobile home, a new mobile home, and uh, you know they're it's, they're in the same park, so that would be awesome. Just you know have them closer. They're not very far away as it is; they're only maybe twenty minutes away. So you know, um, but I need to have my my god dog come over or my grand dog. I mean. My Berkelopolis. His name is Burke, and I call him Berkelopolis. He's a little beagle, and he's just cute as can be, and he just loves his Dana. And, um, you know, so, of course, and then I got to 
I haven't even met the cat, but see, they're on the third floor, and we can't navigate the stairs. Um, you know, the funny thing is, too, is we got home and stuff, had to get back on some antibiotics, drunk her water pills, you know, my dealing and conversation and everything with the doctor yesterday, that's all good, guy. Um, you know, she got me prescriptions and, you know, so I'm feeling better. Breathing is better. Yesterday, I was able to carry in the groceries. Brad needed to come inside and, um, because he was really hurting. So we had gone and picked up a few things. You know, when you get back in town, you don't have any fresh stuff and any milk or anything. So picked up a few things and, um, I was able to carry those upstairs, carry them inside and stuff. And I felt really good about that. Uh, the breathing's getting better. I haven't had to have any breathing treatment. I've been having to use my inhaler still. Oh. What? Oh. Dixie. Watching the dogs. Um, Brad's feeding the dogs. So, um, yeah, things are getting better. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> As I cough. So, um... Uh, very excited, guys. Um, Brad laughs because I've been putting things. I have an Amazon wish list. You guys, there should be a link below. Um, if not, I'll double check it. Uh, just if you, if you, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you already knew the announcement about the mobile home. Um, but yeah, I've been putting stuff on the wish list because it's like you know, uh, we want to have a security you know, security cameras, those are really come down in price. And, you know, things like, um, shower curtains and, um, safety rails and just a little stuff like that you're going to need for the house. We're going to need to get, we're going to have to buy a washer dryer. Everything else, of course, comes with it. Brand new stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, um, so, but that'll be exciting, and I think I'm going to give, Carol had two and a half years ago, it gifted us with this portable little washer, and then it has a ring, uh, spin thing on right next to it, and we have used that for two and a half years every week for at least five to six loads a week, right? It does like about a third of the size of a normal washer. Maybe a half, depends on, you know, and, but we have used that and used that and, um, uh, I'm going to gift it. I'm going to give it to probably one of our neighbors here that, that we really like. They're really nice people. They're the ones that lost their whole, everything they, they owned, including their cat, to a trailer fire. And then they got moved into another one. Um, so I think I'm just going to give that to them because, you know, it's two and a half years, two and a half years old, and, um, it was a gift given to us, and why not pay it forward, right? So, um, going to do that, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what else. I need to get some kitchen chairs for our kitchen table. We don't have any, um... And just a bunch of different little stuff like that. Um, so, of course, one bedroom will be made into an art studio. My granddaughter's already looking forward to coming over and uh, working with me in there. And I'm going to put um, tarps all over the floor and tape them and stuff to save the carpet, of course, in that room. And then another, the other bedroom... Is going to be made into a spare room when we have guests slash office. So that'll be good. You know, and then Brad eventually will get a shed uh, for his woodworking tools and that kind of stuff. So that's what we got going on, guys. I thought I would update you guys. Thank you guys for all the prayers and well wishes and congratulations on Facebook. That was so nice, you guys. Um... Yeah, we'll be living right between Wilson, the town, Wilson and Rocky Mount, this little town called Sharpburg, and we'll be living out in the country from that. So, um, that little town I love, because got some of the real, real old-fashioned, um, 
stores that now are abandoned. And you can tell they used to be maybe like office building. It's got the wrought iron and stuff. And it's like, yeah. I love that kind of old historical stuff. And there's some battlefields with dying to go see. There's a lot of stuff. That, yeah. A lot of stuff. And I'll be doing some. I'm sure that will spur me on for more artwork and stuff. I'm eager to get back with that. Um, you know, so it's been a rough time and I don't think I could have gotten through all of this near as well if it hadn't been for you guys. And I'm sorry I didn't pick up my camera and vlog. First of all, I'm not going to vlog my family unless I ask them and I just, I don't know, you get caught up in the moment of enjoying your family time and stuff. You don't think to really pick up and even vlog the trip down or anything because, um, yeah, it was an adventure. So, anyway, I'm gonna get off here. So, I gotta go finish some laundry, do the cat litter box. You know, I've been doing some packing today and stuff. Um, but I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so very much. And, um, you guys are awesome. That's all I can truly say is you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you guys in a few days. Hang in there. Bye.